The Oklahoma County Detention Center in the spotlight again, this time involving their detention officers. That's right. There are some new allegations coming out that inmates were allowed to be stabbed in the jail. News 9's Augusta McDonald is live in the studio with the new details there. Augusta. Amanda Colby, two separate claims filed last week, allege inmates were allowed to hurt each other in the Oklahoma County Jail and that detention officers didn't do enough to stop what was happening. These are the scars on former inmate 25-year-old Roy Parkerson's body. Arm, wrist, uh, back of his shoulder. Where he says he was allowed to be stabbed with a shank made by another inmate in December of 2020. The detention officer on duty at the time, Michael Hughes, later found guilty of misdemeanor willful neglect of duty. To add um, insult to injury, while Roy lay bleeding on the floor, um, this guard waited for a significant period of time before radioing any other officers for help or medical attention. And because of that, we believe Roy was injured worse than he otherwise would have been. Parkerson is seeking financial damages for ongoing physical harm and mental anguish. In another case filed in Oklahoma City Federal Court, 25-year-old Tavion Murphy is asking for $5 million in damages after an October 2021 stabbing. Murphy is suing the jail trust, county commissioners, and a former detention officer. Court documents say Murphy was stabbed by a shiv nearly 30 times, which caused serious and significant injuries. The nearly 30 stab wounds caused puncturing of his heart and other cuts. He needed two open-heart surgeries. Murphy alleges the detention officer allowed this to happen and let the attackers into his cell. Attorneys in both of these complaints cite ongoing management issues at the county jail contributed to both of these incidents. I'm Augusta McDonald for Oklahoma Zone News 9.